All right, I want you to take a moment and ask yourself what if your consciousness isn't just some random byproduct of your brain? What if it's an actual force that's helping the universe shape itself? Yeah, I know, that sounds wild. But what if I told you that some of the smartest people in the world, theoretical physicists, philosophers, scientists are starting to think that consciousness might be way more than just a passenger in this universal ride? What if your awareness, what you're experiencing right now, plays a part in fine-tuning everything around you? Let's get into it, because by the end of this, you might just see yourself as more than just a tiny speck in this massive cosmos. So here's the deal the universe is fine-tuned. We're talking about the laws of physics, the constants that shape reality, the speed of light, the force of gravity, all these things had to be just right for life to exist. If any one of these values were even slightly different, the universe would be nothing like it is now. No stars, no planets, no galaxies, and definitely no life. But the question is why? How did the universe get so lucky? Is it pure chance? Or is there something deeper going on? Now, some people argue that maybe there are trillions of universes and we just happen to live in the one that got the numbers right. This is the multiverse theory, a kind of cosmic lottery. But there's another, more mind-blowing possibility. What if the universe is fine-tuned because it was always meant to bring about consciousness? What if consciousness is not some accidental byproduct of evolution but actually the thing the universe has been aiming for all along. And more than that, what if your consciousness is a key part of this whole equation? Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lesson. Think about it, what is consciousness really? Right now as you're watching this video, you're aware of my voice, the screen, maybe the room around you. That's your consciousness. But we still don't fully understand how that awareness fits into the physical world. Science can explain how your brain processes information, how neurons fire, but it can't explain why you actually have an inner experience, why you feel something. Why is there a you experiencing all of this? This question is known as the hard problem of consciousness and it's something that has puzzled scientists and philosophers for centuries. But what if we've been thinking about it the wrong way? What if consciousness isn't something that comes from the brain at all? What if it's something that's built into the very fabric of the universe itself? This brings us to the idea that maybe consciousness is the thing that helps the universe fine-tune itself. Think about it if consciousness is everywhere, then maybe it's playing a role in shaping the laws of physics, in guiding the evolution of the universe. Maybe the universe wants to create consciousness and that's why it's so perfectly fine-tuned for life. And maybe, just maybe your own consciousness is a part of that process. Now here's where things get even crazier. Some people think that consciousness might not just exist within the universe, but that it might actually be the universe. This is the idea of cosmopsychism, the belief that the entire universe is one big conscious mind, and that all of our individual consciousnesses are just tiny parts of that larger mind. It's like you and I are neurons in the brain of the universe, each of us playing a small but important role in its overall awareness. What if that's what's really going on here? What if the universe is conscious and we're all just small pieces of its self-awareness? Here's where things get really interesting. A growing number of thinkers believe in something called panpsychism. It's the idea that consciousness isn't just something that humans or animals have, but that it's a fundamental part of reality. In other words, everything, from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies, has some level of consciousness. It's not that a rock is sitting there having deep thoughts, 
but that at the most basic level, everything in the universe has a tiny bit of experience, a tiny bit of awareness. It's like consciousness is the building block of reality, just like matter or energy. Now, you might be thinking how could this be possible? How could something like an electron have consciousness? But let's flip the question, how is it possible that we have consciousness? We know we do, but we still have no idea how it works. So if consciousness is such a mystery, why assume it only exists in humans or animals? What if it's everywhere, but we just don't recognize it because it's so different from the kind of consciousness we're used to? So let's pause for a second and reflect on that. What if your thoughts, your experiences, your feelings aren't just random, but actually part of something much, much bigger? What if the universe itself is conscious and you're one of the ways it experiences itself? Do you see how that changes everything? All right, think about that for a second. Ask yourself what kind of power does that give you? What if by being conscious, you're not just living in the universe, but actually helping to shape it. If consciousness is fundamental to reality, then what does that mean for the way you live your life, the way you interact with the world around you? So if the universe is conscious or if consciousness is somehow a fundamental part of reality, then what's the point? What's the purpose of it all? Why would the universe even care about creating conscious beings like us? Let's dive deeper. Here's the thing, consciousness is strange. It's not just about seeing or hearing or thinking. It's about being. It's the experience of being aware, of being alive. But what if that's exactly what the universe is striving for? What if the whole point of the universe is to become aware of itself? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever had one of those moments where you feel like everything is connected? Like you're not just a separate person living in the world, but a part of something bigger. Maybe it happens when you're out in nature or when you're meditating, or even in a moment of deep thought. Those moments where you feel like the boundaries between you and the rest of the world disappear. What if those moments are glimpses of the truth? What if the universe really is all connected, and you're just one part of a much larger whole? Here's where things get wild. Some philosophers and scientists believe that the universe is evolving not just physically, but consciously. In other words, the universe is getting smarter. It's becoming more aware. And the way it does that is through us, through conscious beings. We're the universe's way of waking up. Every time you learn something new, every time you have a deep thought, Every time you experience something profound, the universe is expanding its consciousness. You're like a neuron firing in the brain of the universe, helping it become more aware of itself. But here's the catch. The universe needs us to wake up. It can't do it on its own. That's why we're here. That's why life exists. We're not just random accidents floating around in a meaningless universe. We're part of a bigger plan, a plan that involves the universe becoming fully aware of itself. And here's the crazy part, you have the power to help the universe wake up. Every time you expand your consciousness, every time you grow as a person, you're helping the universe evolve. You're helping it become more aware. And that's a huge responsibility. So what does this mean for you? Well, if consciousness is really that important, if it's the key to the universe waking up, then it means that your life has a purpose. It means that you're here for a reason. You're not just some random collection of atoms that happen to come together by chance. You're a conscious being, and that means you have a role to play in the evolution of the universe. You have the power to expand your consciousness, to learn, to grow, to help the universe become more aware of itself. But it's not just about you. It's about all of us. We're all in this together. Every single person on this planet, 
whether they realize it or not, is contributing to the evolution of the universe's consciousness. When you connect with others, when you share ideas, when you teach someone something new, you're helping the universe expand its awareness. It's not just about individual growth, it's about collective growth. We're all pieces of this giant cosmic puzzle, and the more we learn and grow together, the more the universe wakes up. Now, this brings us to a critical question if consciousness is fundamental to the universe, and if we're all part of this grand cosmic plan, then why is there so much suffering? Why is there so much pain, confusion, and ignorance in the world? If the universe is trying to wake up, why does it seem like so many people are asleep? Why do we struggle so much to find meaning and purpose? This is where things get tricky. The truth is, the process of waking up isn't easy. Just like it's hard for us to wake up in the morning, it's hard for the universe to wake up too. Consciousness isn't something that just happens, it's something that has to be developed, cultivated, evolved. And that's not always a smooth process. Think about your own life, how many times have you gone through difficult experiences only to come out the other side with a deeper understanding of yourself and the world? How many times have you had to struggle to learn something new, to grow, to expand your awareness? It's the same for the universe. The process of waking up is difficult, and it involves a lot of pain and suffering along the way. But here's the thing. The suffering isn't meaningless. It's part of the process. Just like how you can't build muscle without going through some pain, the universe can't develop consciousness without going through some struggles. The challenges we face in life, the pain, the confusion, the suffering are all opportunities for growth. They're the universe's way of pushing us to wake up, to expand our consciousness, to become more aware. Every time you overcome a challenge, every time you learn from a difficult experience, you're helping the universe evolve. You're contributing to its grand awakening. So the next time you're going through a tough time, remember this, it's not for nothing. It's part of something much bigger. You're not just suffering for the sake of suffering, you're growing, you're evolving, and you're helping the universe wake up. And that's a powerful thing. But here's where we have to be careful. Just because suffering is part of the process doesn't mean we should accept it passively. We have the power to reduce suffering, both for ourselves and for others. In fact, that's one of the key ways we can help the universe wake up by alleviating suffering, by spreading awareness, by helping others expand their consciousness. Every time we help someone grow, every time we help reduce suffering in the world, we're accelerating the universe's evolution. We're making it easier for the universe to wake up. Which brings us to another deep question. What are you doing to help the universe wake up? Are you living your life in a way that expands your consciousness? Are you helping others do the same? Or are you stuck in patterns of ignorance, fear, and suffering? Are you contributing to the universe's awakening, or are you holding it back? This is something we all need to think about. Because if we really are part of this cosmic process, if consciousness really is the key to the universe's evolution, then we have a responsibility to act. We can't just sit back and let life happen to us. We have to take an active role in expanding our consciousness, in helping others expand theirs, in reducing suffering and spreading awareness. That's how we contribute to the universe's awakening. That's how we fulfill our purpose in this grand cosmic plan. All right, so now we've talked about how consciousness might be fundamental to the universe and how we're all part of this grand process of the universe waking up. But here's the next big question, if consciousness is so important, and if we're all part of this process, how much control do we really have? Do we actually have the power to shape the universe? 
or are we just along for the ride? Let's talk about free will. This is one of the most debated topics in philosophy, and for good reason. On one hand, it feels like we have free will, it feels like we're making choices, that we're in control of our actions. But on the other hand, when we look at the world through the lens of science, things start to look a little more deterministic. Everything seems to follow the laws of physics cause and effect. So where does free will fit into all of this? Here's a possibility. What if consciousness is the thing that breaks the chain of cause and effect? What if consciousness is the source of free will? Think about it. If consciousness is fundamental to the universe, then maybe it's not bound by the same laws that govern everything else. Maybe consciousness has the ability to make choices, to influence the physical world in ways that aren't completely determined by the past. In other words, maybe your awareness, your ability to make decisions, is the universe's way of giving itself the freedom to evolve in new and unexpected directions. This is where things get really exciting. If consciousness is the source of free will, then that means you do have the power to shape the universe. Your choices, your actions, your thoughts, they all have an impact on the world around you. And that means you're not just a passive observer in this cosmic process, you're an active participant. You're helping to shape the future of the universe with every decision you make. But here's the catch. This power comes with responsibility. If you really do have free will, if your consciousness really does have the power to influence the world, then you have a responsibility to use that power wisely. You can't just drift through life making choices without thinking about the consequences. Every action you take, every thought you have, ripples out into the universe. It affects the people around you, it affects the world, and ultimately, it affects the evolution of consciousness itself. So, what are you going to do with that power? Are you going to use it to expand your consciousness, to help others, to contribute to the universe's awakening? Or are you going to waste it getting caught up in petty distractions and fear, in ignorance? This is the real challenge of being conscious. It's not just about being aware, it's about taking responsibility for that awareness. It's about realizing that you have the power to shape reality and using that power to create something meaningful. It's about stepping up and playing your role in the grand cosmic plan. And here's the thing, you don't have to do it alone. We're all in this together. Every single conscious being on this planet is part of the same process. We're all helping the universe wake up one step at a time. And the more we work together, the more we connect, the more we help each other grow, the faster that process will unfold. So here's the final question I want to leave you with. What kind of reality do you want to create? What kind of world do you want to live in? Because the truth is you're not just a part of the universe, you're helping to shape it. You're not just a passive observer, you're an architect of reality. And the choices you make, the actions you take, the thoughts you think they all have the power to shape the future.